please like the video and hit the goddamn subscribe button. I don't ask for much. The reaction to a just pearly clip where they discuss do men prefer natural women? The patients have, the patients, everyone's patience has gone now. So put it like this, right? Um, I think what he's trying to say, so with Instagram's, Instagram social media has created a lot of options. Um, it's created a lot of, well, perceived options. Um, so it, it's, whereas before you would, you know, if you was a pretty girl, you would have been a pretty girl in your school, um, in, your, in your little area, whatever. And um, you'd have had the local, local people that would have, you know, approached you. But now with Instagram, you have more attentions from everywhere. And what it tends to do is it, it can, um, it can inflate girls' perception of what actually um, they value or, 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 what, or what's available to them. So, for example, if you're in a relationship with a girl and um, she has an open Instagram and it's not, you know what I mean? She can get attention from all different types of men. Now, particularly if you're just in a relationship and she's your girlfriend, she's not your wife. And remember, you know, if, she's not, if she hasn't got a ring on her, technically you're just, you're just there, right? Mm -hmm. So Instagram just creates a, a place where women can get opportunities and get messages and they can get distractions from all different places and that's just one one aspect of it mm -hmm. we can go way further than that but with social media it just creates um, mm -hmm. more interest what do you guys think I agree what he just said yeah I, yeah I do agree yeah. 100% I think um, sort of like it's in terms of it's ruined the, would you say it's ruined the modern woman yeah oh okay yeah so like if we're looking at the, the women in the past let's so say you're within a community mm -hmm. you only know the people within your community so if you have you know done done a mad thing for example everyone in that community is going to know but now it's like you have uh, the whole world to just free up yourself mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. so I think it, it's definitely more exposure more you're seeing you're, you're, you're having a lot more like people to compare yourself to as well and I think that's problematic for self-esteem so it's, it's mm -hmm. the whole thing, yeah. So do you think it makes women um, have lower self-esteem? Yeah. A hundred percent, yeah, depending on what you're... you're comparing yourself to other... You're comparing yeah. yourself mm -hmm. to other women and, yeah. So yeah. why are women so addicted to it then? I, I've listen ding, ding, ding. it's women that do it to other women mm -hmm. like yeah. none of us have ever asked you guys to get a BBL none of us ever asked you guys Talk to cool. wear not your natural hair none of us ever asked you guys to put stuff into your lip these are all things that nope. you guys do for you guys so mm -hmm. but whenever a man talks about it they'll say keep out of women's business it's, it's our body right that's fine but you have to understand the things that these women are doing you're creating insecurities between yourselves because us as men we don't want these things and the moment we say we don't want these things it's like it's keep out women, women's business you know what I'm trying to say to you Mm. No, but men no, always. No, men, but, no, but so mm. men always point. say they don't want these things. But I, okay, like I'm not saying I'm, I'm Beyonce and I'm not saying I'm, I'm Freddy Krueger either. But I have never been moved to when I don't have makeup on. Yeah, I never. I I go outside. I know people that run to the shop in their headscarves and their whatever, and they've never been moved to. And I think move to, I think that's British slang for getting hit on, you know, just using context clues and whatnot. She's, I mean, she's not an ugly woman, but she's not like necessarily like fine either. She's an average looking woman. That's also cap as well, because one, it doesn't matter about you getting hit on. Like that's just superficial women shit. That's just them wanting attention. That's not true. When you see women walking around, you can tell when they're like, you know, just going from the house to the store real quick. Uh, no makeup or, or little to nothing. Hair is hair is natural. They don't have a wig on for a second. So they they walking around like they walking around like perverse in the, in the kids parking lot <laughs> trying to cover their natural hair. It's 100% not true. And the guys that do give her attention is not the guys that she want. You have to understand the woman that has that look of the BBL and the uh the long Brazilian weave and they get the more attention. Exactly. They get the most attention. You can just see on social do you, media. Do you think it's yeah. relationship attention or sexual attention yeah, though? And I wouldn't put makeup in the same category as lip fillers in a BBL. Yeah, I was going to say that. I would, I would say those I was are different. Like, no, we'll give you makeup. We'll give you makeup. <laughs> but they, they do go for the rappers and the footballers and the rappers and the footballers. That's the look but, that they go for. Right, but would you say the, the rappers those, and the footballers those are type husbands guys, looking though. for... Are those two occupations the ones at the top of her head? Footballer and rapper. Like... Regular dudes out the question, I suppose. And she got on a ton of makeup, by the way. <laughs> well, they do wife them. <laughs> do they? Do, See, this, yeah. Would you say? Would you say rappers weeds. really have wives, or do they have like three baby mamas? 
I agree. <laughs> yeah, and this is the thing: if 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 you're if you're looking at rappers and 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 footballers and people as the, your target demographic, then already what you're saying is, I have to be willing for a certain type of behaviour because you're going like you're saying you're going for the top guy, right? And the top mm-hmm. guy is going to do certain things and he's going to look at certain things. So for us, I'll say it again, um, and I'll make it loud: us as men, we want you in a natural state because mm-hmm. your natural hair, your natural nails, your natural um, every, your natural lips. These are things that are going to be passed on the genes to my child. So whatever you do, no, it's nice speaking. Like, nice. Like, like whatever you do, that's how you look. But it's not really how you look. See, when I wake up next to you in the morning, that's the real you. And I grew up in a house with three sisters and my mum. So I'm, um, I'm from an African um, background. So I'm used to seeing women with their um, in their natural hair. I'm used to seeing women obviously covered and stuff, stuff like that. So for me, I would actually move to you with, with a headscarf on because I'll consider you to be beautiful because my sister's beautiful with a headscarf on, right? Mm. But the problem is, all of this fakery and stuff is we got to deal with it. So of course, if you got Brazil, for as a black girl, why have you got Chinese men called Brazilian hair coming out of your hair? So for me, I'll be like, you know, just keep the keep the normal hair. Even if what's that girl with the afro? What's her name? Jess. Yeah. As soon as I came, I said, oh, I love your hair. Mm-hmm. It's just because it just looked natural. She just looked natural. So yeah. for us as men, they may tell you that's not what we want, mm-hmm. but trust me, you love a yeah, natural woman. Well, there's, no, there's nothing more beautiful on this planet than a black woman with her natural hair, man. Like I don't give a damn. Big ass afro. Your hair short and just making a comeback. A little tiny afro. I don't care. But I'll take any of that over the wigs and wigs. Any of it. All day, every day. Of going back to what you said, actually, is it a wife or is it just sexual? Because like you would want a wife, say the. The, the, you know, obviously, like Jess, you said. Yeah. But if you were sexually attracted, yeah, you just smash, smash the thing with the Brazilian butt. But of it. course, yeah, but yeah. but now you're saying just smash. If we're talking smash versus wife, now it's completely different things. Now, if I'm gonna mm-hmm. smash you, then I don't really care mm-hmm. about your hair because if mm-hmm. the week the weave, the weave come out in your hand, it, it mm-hmm. don't, like you're not gonna be bothered about that because that's gonna be experience. You're gonna yeah. talk to your boy about it and say, oh, this is what happened. But mm-hmm. you know, you're not gonna care really more than that. Yeah. You say you used to say something, no? Um, no, I was going to say, I feel like in terms of the natural hair thing, because I feel like that is quite a big topic as well. But I feel like as black women, you need to understand there was a period of time when Eurocentric features were what was promoted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Coolie women yeah. were the ones who were on magazines yeah. and the yeah. ones who we were told that we are supposed to look like. But it's not like that now, man. And that's an excuse. And of course, she's going to say that when she got that big ass wig on her head. And not trying to clown her, man. It just is what it is. That's an excuse, man. Women choose to wear them wigs and weaves, man. They, they can wear their hair natural. They just don't want to. And they don't want to do the maintenance on it. That's a big thing. You know what I mean? So I feel like as a woman, a black woman growing up in a society where from a young age, we've been programmed to view beauty in a certain light. Oh, and a lot of sisters hate their hair, by the way. It's hard to manipulate what... It's hard to reprogram what we've been manipulated to believe. We can teach our children, Mm -hmm. but as a a person looking in the mirror, and sometimes it's not even a... Like, I feel like wearing fake hair, sometimes it's a protective... Yeah. Um, a protective mm-hmm. hairstyle because you don't know who what that person's hair is underneath and we're not necessarily in the right country and climate i think that protective style thing is 100 percent, 1000 percent cat what are you protecting it against the sun like the elements what are you protecting it against no it's an excuse stop the cat as black yeah, people in I general said that shit. for our hair to mm-hmm. flourish and grow in it's a natural state for all of us. We're not in our home Look, country. No, I hear that, innit? But what I'll say as a guy, right, is 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 you can have a protective style, but let it be a protective style that is matching towards your hairstyle or where, or where you're from. So if you want to protect your hair, that's fine. Like have that. a have a braid style, have a corner style, extension like style, and that'll be more natural. So what we're just trying to just say is either way, natural will always be better for us as men, but we're always going to be told that fakery is what we want when in actual fact we don't want that well, but then men need to speak up on that then he's speaking speak up on, on it right now men, no, but women don't women don't, don't listen to men when they women say what they listen, want period. women, it women, women don't women don't listen because men men say they want thin women pure women and and women don't listen they just say that they're slut shaming and they're not body positive so yep. it's like when men even say what they want we don't care i just think each to their own if you want to wear a wig mm. wear a Thank wig you. if you want to wear braids mm. wear a wig i don't think like i mean there's men out there that genuinely like women with the long brazilian mm. hair and the uh, afro but and the majority braids. don't when the men start saying oh 
when you're liking women that's natural like that's where women have an issue with it why but wait didn't you just say I, that men should speak out on it and now you're yeah. saying they can't no i'm not saying but when you start saying oh we only like girls with natural hair like that can so be. we're not allowed to have a preference or something so Basically. what's happening again is you say men should speak out and i speak out and i say you know what i like your hair in that way but you know what actually what i actually prefer is if your natural state i think you look more beautiful than that that's okay I, that's okay but saying then, that that's okay saying that but when you start putting it's a, okay saying it but when i start saying it no when yeah. you start putting oh that's what i prefer oh i like that but better. it's my preference, that's a preference. That's a preference. That's a I feel, I feel like I feel, I feel each to their own. Like, like, if may like I it. just say that we've been given the choice as women. Exactly. We have been given choice. I completely agree with that. But with that choice comes repercussions. So the receiver of women is men. In that respect, if you want a man, you should be willing to see what that man needs. Mm -hmm. Now, if that is the case that that man is asking, I don't prefer women, she was wearing hair extensions, who is wearing weaves that doesn't match her natural skin colour, then it is not your place as a woman to tell that man that he is wrong for his mm -hmm. preference. Mm -hmm. Would you say mm -hmm. that, because um, I've heard from guys when the girls have like more of the fake stuff or the BBLs or whatever, they put them more in like a casual category just off the bat. Like, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> it, One zone. it's so mad to me that you thinking that putting all these fakery is going to get you a man that actually wants you and you even have to understand the difference between someone that wants you for one night and someone that really wants mm. you so if i want you for one night i don't care what you do so your wick can come off and come off in the hand in the, in the bedroom it doesn't matter like it doesn't even if it doesn't matter how you dress mm -hmm. in actual mm -hmm. fact the more provocative the better because you're letting people know what you're on but now if i'm talking about you as my True. wife you know all of these things that i wanted you for one one night would be a red flag for me there would be things that i wouldn't i would <laughs> i wouldn't really, really want and I just got to think that women have to ask themselves, what do they want? One night, long term. Women should be in their natural state. And it shouldn't really be a debate about it. Like, I, of course, I don't think it's asking for much. But when you really think about it, we're just saying, wear your hair the way that it grows. Not going by a whole bunch of shit. I could rant about the weave conversation all day. I think I've done it before on this channel. I hate weave. I hate weaves, wigs, extensions, those ghetto eyelashes, the raptor cloth fingernails, when you rocking a pound of makeup, um, what up? Tattoo like a rapper. I'm almost 40. I don't have any tattoos. I think tattoos on the women can be okay if they're put in, in small, delicate places. But if you tat it up like a convict, it's something wrong, man. Oh, to all the new subscribers, the Do Better Podcast is an anti-weave establishment. I'll say that shit again. Talking a wig right now, I hope it falls over your eyes and you bump into a light pole or something. But ladies, stop telling men what we want. We know what we want. We want our women natural. Natural 24-7, all the time. Don't tell us we don't want the shit. We know what we want. But hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just part of it talking on YouTube. I know I don't like weeds. <laughs> You guys let me know what you think <laughs> after party in the comments. But they still don't cooper, but you can call me bitch. Do better. Fucking wigs, man. Uh, excuse me, bitches?